Hey, what's up everybody? My name is JR Maddox, and in this video, I just want to show you how I get my photos from my micro SD card to Lightroom. I'm sure you guys already know how to do this. It's really quite simple, but I don't want to assume that everybody in this uh, forum knows how to do that. So with that being said, I have an external micro SD card reader as my iMac does not have one of those and I got tired of putting in the little adapter to fit it into the uh, SD card reader on the Mac. So with that, I just went on to Amazon. I bought one that has three ports. I'll show you a little shot of what it looks like. And it has three USB ports and micro SD card reader and the regular SD card reader. So with that, I put my little micro SD card right inside and I open up Lightroom and I come in here and it automatically imports when it reads a new card and I always have eject after import so I can pull the card out unless I have multiple jobs that I am taking off and putting in in different categories and I'll show you that in one minute so what I'll do here is you can see I already have files on here the ones that are grayed out means that they're already on my hard drive because I have over here do not import suspected duplicates so if you wanted to have duplicates, you could just uncheck that little tick mark and there you go. But for me, I don't want the same. It's helped me out in a bunch of ways because I'm like, I can't find this file. Is it on my hard drive? I come up here, make sure that the check mark is there. And if it's grayed out, it's on my hard drive. I just got to find it. Sometimes I put them in the wrong spots. But with that, my categorization, categorization, the way I categorize stuff is right down here. Um, I have Keller Williams, I have the realtor's name, Jason Walters, and then I have the name of the house that is being shot. So in this instance, it's Laurel Valley. And then I'll come up here and into subfolder, I'll name this Ariel. And from here, it's going to, all these check marks is going to import those into Laurel Valley and it's going to make a new folder called Arial. And with that, you can have keywords put in here. You can put all sorts of stuff, whatever. You can rename the files, which is probably a good way of doing it is renaming the file. But I haven't been doing it because I rename it on export. So, but if you're trying to find that file, it is probably good to rename it as you import it. You can rename it to Laurel Valley Arial. That would be a good practice to do. Um, so let's just go ahead and do that and then I'm going to come in here custom name and uh, yeah it's going to be custom name and extensions leave as is develop settings so <clears throat> lowercase and right here Arial well let's go to Laurel Arial so when it imports it, it's going to name it that. So, and we'll come down here to import. And all right. And as you can see, it ejected, ejected the card there. And that's good. So now I can remove the card because I'm not going to lie. There's been many times I forgot the SD card in there and I go to shoot and I don't have an SD card. So that's why it's always good to have extras in your bag which normally I do, but there has been times I haven't. So good practice is to remove that SD card and put it back where it belongs right away. And with that, as you can see the screen here, we can see all of our photos. And up here in the left-hand corner, you can see Laurel Ariel. So I actually really, really like that. I probably should start doing that. So with that, that is it. And then from here, um, I would just come in here and do all my edits and then <clears throat> a really quick tip what I do is I will grab all five of these images and I'm hitting the um, the shift key and whoops I hit the, hold down the shift key and I hit control command I'm sorry shift control H and what that does is it photo merges all of those in the background so I can move on to the next one, the next five, shift control H, 
And as you can see down here, it will show photo merge added to tasks. And I just keep doing this and keep doing this until all of them are done. And then I could be doing something else while this is merging all those HDR images. So I don't have to sit here and wait because I used to sit here and do one at, you know, one five images at one time and it would take forever. So now I just do it all and I wait. And as you can see up here in the left hand corner, the uh, operation in progress is still three. So it'll combine all three, or I'm sorry, all five of those images, compress them, and then I will be able to tell that it is done by coming down here and taking a look at this right here. As you could tell, it has this little mark right there. Um, these, that to me is right there is telling me that it has been altered and as you can see here I'm waiting for it to come up photo has developed adjustments whereas these don't have any developed adjustments so I just come here to this one and I'll go into develop mode and I have a preset for the Phantom 4 Pro and I just click on that it gets me a good base and as you well, see, it's a little on the dark side, so I brighten it up a little bit, brighten up the darks, and just play around with it. I mean, it gives you a good base. This tutorial is basically just how to get files off of your SD card onto your Lightroom and the way that I do things. So with that, I want you guys to have a wonderful day. And if you have any questions or anything that you want to learn in real estate photography, hit me up. I'm going to start trying to do more videos as I've been slacking. Um, but with that, you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.